Now, there were a few problems at the polls in the Ocean State yesterday. The wrong ballots were delivered to two precincts in South Kingstown and Warwick. And in Providence, hundreds of people packed one polling place, some claiming they had to wait there for hours. From the Providence Global Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan is in the capital city. We wanted to know why some polling locations were easy to walk in and out of, while others saw lines in excess of two hours. <laughs> Check out these lines at the Juanita Sanchez polling location in Providence. Some voters tell Eyewitness News they waited nearly three hours to cast their votes on Tuesday. People sort of just started going to the front, and there was the line was just too long. People really got tired of waiting. Tempers were rising as the crowd pushed forward. You can see in this video a crush of people surrounding the voting booths. We tracked down Robert Cando, the executive director of the Board of Elections, to find out why one polling location looked like this, while others were essentially barren. Redistricting uh, naturally did adversely affect the election because uh, redistricting didn't take place until late into the year. Yet if they had more time, the, the local boards would have had greater opportunity to find uh, the best locations and to split the districts up into more uh, workable precincts. Long line or short line, the turnout was impressive. More than 416,000 voters, not a record breaker, but one of the highest turnouts in Rhode Island history. I get my vote, vote counted. I, I get my voice in there, so it didn't matter how long it was going to take. I was going to wait. Officials here at the Board of Elections tell us you can anticipate changes to some polling locations for the next election. In Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.